The 38 gets into Darnell. Leffler loses it. Here comes everybody else. Look out. It's not over. Oh, it's not over. Oh, there's Kenseth involved. Logano. Logano gets involved for the second week in a row, but this damage is much worse than last week's where he nudged the wall. This time he spanks it. Yeah, you see Darnell getting out of the car. A little bit of fire underneath the six. Don't know well, exactly what happened. Looked like the 38 got loose down there. I think exactly what Rusty Wallace was talking about on these restarts in the countdown show. You, you go down in there on the inside. You don't have the air on the spoiler. You're driving hard. The car bottoms out a little bit, shoots you up the racetrack. Then you collect whoever's on the outside of you. And, and there is torn up. Boy, yeah. Matt led this race early. Led a total of uh, 24 laps. He's one of six leaders that we've had. There's what's left of Jason Leffler's pink Great Lips Toyota. Great Clips Toyota. That six car is destroyed. See right there, Dave Blaney, the 87, passing these cars on the outside. And right behind them, looks like that 38 just got on the apron, got loose. You can see him correcting it. Right up into Eric Darnell. He didn't have a great angle. He kind of came down. Tony Stewart gave Jason Leffler a little bit of a break and let him in right there. But then his car bottomed out, as you said, Andy, and shot him up the racetrack. Now let's go back to where all this second group of cars came in. You see, oh, man. They get Boy, jacked gets up. Into, to Ken Butler and then into Kenseth. Then they come piling into Darnell. The old accordion. Well, they see the trouble ahead, and they're trying to get woed down, and they start getting sideways and start getting in each other. You see right here, Casey Kane does. Look at this. Does a great job to miss all this. Remember how uh, John West Townley got by the last incident? He didn't make it through this one. Look at Allgaier. He got slowed down just enough to get through here. See, once again, down in turn one area, Jason Leffert's car. Bottoms out, he gets loose up into Eric Garnell, and then some other cars don't get slowed down. A lot of contact after that. It's torn up race cars. The six car got hit at least three, if not four times during all of this. Another mm -hmm. view. Yeah, kind of just minding his own two business right there in the high side. And from Ken Butler's view. Yeah, you'll see uh, Casey Kane just sneak by on the outside, Eric McClure. Now everybody starts crashing. Yeah, Ken Butler got hit by the 20 car right there as he slowed down to avoid it. I just got loose, uh, getting run over. I mean, we didn't have the race car to start up in third position. And um, I was getting run over from the restart. Uh, got into one too hard. Uh, I think the five was under me and just got loose right in the middle. And wiped out, of, you know, whoever was in the top ten there. I feel really bad about that. But um, it was not one of our best nights. We didn't have a good car. The Great Clips camera is usually really fast. It was good here in the spring. And uh, tonight, it wasn't. And uh, well, the way the strategy worked out, we were able to pick crew, did a great job. Uh, the way it all worked out, we restarted third, and we should have never been there. Oh, I just told him sorry. I mean, wiped out him and Darnell, and who knows that, who knows else. But uh, I don't know. I should have known better. I should have known I didn't. I shouldn't. We should have had a better car. I should have known better. And um, it's just a tough position to be in, you know. I mean, you start up front like that, you got to have a car to stay there. Well, I saw it maybe a little later than some others, but I seen it when I entered turn one, and I was following Casey, and Casey went outside of that, uh, that trash bay car, and I followed him out there, and I could see that car spinning and, and caught me in the left rear there, and just got me caught up in an accident. So. Um, you knew it was going to be exciting. You had some cars in there that were probably seven or eight tenths off some of the other cars because of pit strategy and that, that 20 lap fuel window deal. So we just kind of got collected up in the mess. Just a, a tough deal, you know, a racing deal, I guess. Uh, I initially thought that uh, the five had gotten underneath the 38. They're getting into one. It might have crowded him a little bit, but after seeing the replay, it looked like the 38 just kind of bottomed out and, and he lost it and, and uh, you know, run up the track and, and hit us. But uh, just a, a tough break for our Northern Tool and Equipment Ford team. Uh, these guys worked really hard in practice at, at uh, putting a good car underneath me, and, and we had a solid car tonight. Uh, the first two pit stops, we made some really good adjustments, and I felt like we were heading in the right direction with the car, and we were running, I guess, sixth right there when that deal happened. But um, we're just looking to get a good finish tonight, and unfortunately that didn't happen. I hate it for all the guys back in the shop that are going to work on this thing. But now we got another tore-up race car, but that's a pretty, pretty tough deal.